<laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Drop the Dies of Mr. Duga. <laughs> Ow! And today I'm going to talk about last night's first round matchup, Game Five, as you had the Miami Heat beating the Milwaukee Bucks in overtime to advance to the Eastern Conference semifinals. Man. <laughs> Bro, like, I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. It's like I put my head down, man, because I'm just still in disbelief that this team has done this, man. Oh, uh, before I get into this video, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, so feel free to DM me. Whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Come holler at your boy. Also, if you're a Madden player on Xbox One, I'll have my Xbox One gamer tag in the description box also. <sighs> wow, man. What a win. What a game. What a series. Um, final, I think it was, uh, I think, 128 to 126 or something like that. In overtime, Heat win. Heat gentlemen sweep the Bucks just like we did in the bubble in 2020. What an amazing um, feat, man. Um, I'm going to talk about this matchup and take a quick look ahead to the matchup with the Knicks. Excuse me, my computer screen then went dark for some reason. Must be a Bucks fan messing with this, man. But um, uh, what a game, man. Um, going down 16 points to start the fourth quarter. I will be honest, I, I thought it was over. Like, I'm like, man, you know what? We'll get them game six at home Friday night, man. Tonight, just not our night. You know, um, Milwaukee on fire. Uh, that's just how it's going to go. And lo and behold, man, we chipped away, chipped away, chipped away. And then Jimmy Butler with the incredible play. Uh, even before that, man, Gabe Vincent, who I know a lot. Of, I'm going to talk a lot about Jimmy Butler, and most people are going to talk about Jimmy Butler. Gabe Vincent had a spectacular game. And Gabe, without Gabe Vincent, we don't win that game last night. Gabe hits the big three-pointer to cut the lead to one, which even allowed us to be in position to tie the game. He made the, the precision pass to Jimmy Butler to lay the uh, ball up to send it to overtime. Uh, he made a nice pass in overtime to Cody Zeller that got an easy dunk. Um, you know, he came out in the first quarter and was aggressive. And I said, you know, in my pregame video that somebody got to help Jimmy out, man. Somebody besides Jimmy got to be aggressive and score. Um, and Gabe Vincent was that was the sidekick tonight, man. Just a really good performance by him. Um, really, really confident. I was getting on Gabe a little bit before this series, man. Just saying that maybe we should put Kyle Lowry back in the lineup because Gabe is looking like an undrafted guy out there, looking like he's not a starting point guard. And uh, he answered the bell in the game five. What a performance by him. Kevin Love you know, hit some timely threes in this game, man. He's been big, especially since, you know, uh, he's been big this on this series, you know, especially now with him starting, um, giving us that stretch four, uh, stretch five option. Bam, somebody I've been very, very critical of. Uh, had a triple double last night, 20, 10, and 10. Great performance by him. You know, um, Larry got in foul trouble, but he did good in that first half. Um, you know, just just an overall really good performance by this team, man. And then, of course, Jimmy Butler, who this is probably the best. You know, you think about D-Wade in 06 against the Mavs. You think about LeBron in 2012 against the Celtics. This got to be one of the best individual series performances by a Heat player that we've probably ever seen, man. That's how spectacular Jimmy was, not only in this game, but in this series. Um, carrying this team on his back, man, on both ends of the court, man. What a performance by him. Um, and might have got away with a little bit of a push off for Pat Connaughton. I know a lot of Bucks fans crying about that, but the rest missed calls both ways. And just the degree of difficulty to put that thing in there, man, was just spectacular. And, you know, and in overtime, um, <laughs> I laugh because I think about with the Bucks, man, um, 
what the hell was Grayson Allen doing, man? Grayson Allen trying to do a Euro step with no time left on the clock. Uh, he still, Grayson Allen still, still a Euro stepping in Milwaukee right now. Um, but time runs out, we get the win. Um, and for Milwaukee, Giannis was was awful from the free throw line. Giannis even nearly had a big turnover before that because the man was so doggone petrified of the basketball to get fouled. You know, he damn near threw the ball out of bounds to Middleton. Um, and uh, Coach Bud for Milwaukee, man, I, I thought he did a poor job. You know, using your challenge in the first three minutes of the game. You know, um, after Jimmy scored, didn't use a timeout to allow his team to get off one more final shot with point nine left. Uh, he did a bad job, man. He always over there looking like he just woke up from a nap. Uh, he coached that way tonight. But for the Heat, man, just a great performance, great win. Uh, to beat this team in a gentleman's sweep is an extreme accomplishment. Now we get the New York Knicks, man. Um, Knicks are a good team, physical, rough riders. Uh, they got home court advantage. It's going to be a lot of fun. I look, me personally, when I think about it, we owe them from 99. <laughs> 1999, we were the one seed. They were the eight seed. They beat us with the Allen Houston runner. Um, it was game five, which back then the first round was a best of five instead of a best of seven like it started in 2003. So that was the equivalent of a game seven. And Allen Houston gets the shot to basically send the Heat home. Now the Heat are the eight. Now the Knicks ain't the one seed, but the Heat are an eight seed. Uh, it's our time to return the favor, man. But overall, great win, great performance. Um, just really ecstatic right now to be a Miami Heat fan. Um, after being very critical of this team this year, rightfully so. Looked like they got the right mojo at the right time. Um, but with that being said, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I have Miami Heat, NBA content on my other teams throughout the year. And I greatly apologize about the dog screen, yo. Well, uh, y'all have a blessed one. Let's go Heat.